Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is John. I'm a student nurse here at the University of Surrey and today we're going to be discussing how I use a Galaxy Tab S4, the S Pen as well as the keyboard case to take notes for seminars and lectures. So in this video I'm going to be kind of separating it all into three areas. So area one is kind of be discussing the benefit of using this compared to writing or typing up on a laptop. Tab two is what this device is and what app I use and three is just how I use it as a note-taking device and day-to-day -day use. So personally the traditional way for me to kind of write down notes is either using pen and paper on a notepad and kind of just using boring ass black ink and maybe if I'm feeling excited I normally just use a bit of highlighter for a word or a phrase but other than that that's pretty much how I kind of write down notes. The second part is just me utilizing a laptop just typing away over and over and over again on an app such as Microsoft Words or OneDrive which I've never really gotten into. So for me those are the usual way that I kind of write down notes whenever I go to lectures and seminars. So with that said, what I've found is using the tablet and the pen itself as well as the keyboard, I've kind of utilised both the benefits of the um, writing and the benefits of typing and kind of mixed it all together to kind of get my own feel and kind of utilise it for my own good and kind of remove all of the cons of doing so. So with handwriting itself, personally I enjoy handwriting and it allows you to actually remember a lot more things just because it increases your attention. Um, also with handwriting you can customise it, you can draw, you can change colours, you can draw arrows, you can kind of make it more dynamic and a lot more engaging when reading or looking. Um, the only problem that I've found is I end up buying you know, like seven of these or probably more on and the A4 size. I just kept writing, 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 even having to buy a couple of binders, turning out like I just end up having them at the bottom of my drawers or the bookshelf. Because um, what I found is whenever I do handwrite stuff, which I do enjoy, afterwards I realise I'm not actually looking at my um, written work for a while, to be honest, and it's like, oh. So it's just a lot more effort and it is a lot more expensive kind of writing from my personal experience. So like I said, with typing, now typing itself is actually really good just because I can just type, 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 type. Um, for an individual who pretty much grew up on the computer, uh, my typing speed is actually quite fast. So whenever I go to the lecture with a laptop, I can just type away straight away to the point where I'm pretty much typing word for word what the lecturer says. And looking back into it, I'm just like, I don't even know why I wrote this. I don't know the point of it. There's no differentiation between what's a good kind of note and what's useless. So what I what I found, especially in first year, is a lot. Of, I've made about a, a ten page note, and I'm like, "Where's the key information? Or why did I write this? There's no benefits, or there's no uh, pros that I can actually pick out of this note." Um, so for me, what I found there is just me typing away, typing away, realizing that I actually don't know what I'm typing about, and there's not enough time for me to process in my mind, being, "Hey." This is key information, let me put that this out in the way or let me highlight it. So with typing I am quite limited on kind of just typing away without me thinking because again I just hear, hear it from one side of the ear and I just type it down and it leaves the other side and I'm just like holy crap. Um, so having a tablet with a bookcase or the keyboard case and the pen, like I said it brings all of it together, it brings the fun of writing. Um, or more like the, the fun of writing down um, notes and making drawings and all of that but also also the fun of typing at the same time because I can incorporate both of them I can write and type uh, on a document or a note itself so that's the benefit of using this but the only disadvantage personally that I found is being a technology it will cost you and as a university student we don't really have a lot of money unless you know you get it for your birthday, your graduation, Christmas, or whatever. It will cost you, um, whether it's a contract or you can just buy it straight away. It's still going to cost. I'm sure there'll be cheaper options out there, but for this device, which we'll mention in a second, it will cost. Okay, so part two is just kind of discussing the tablet itself as well as the app I normally use. 
So this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. It's the 10.5 inch um, tablet. It's a pretty decent sized tablet, uh, to be fair with you. There is a recent one that's been released. I think it's the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. I'm not sure whether they're going to be releasing the Tab E or the Tab SE, which is probably going to be the similar one. This just a bit better. Um, the reason why I got this compared to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S E or Tab S Five E, God, the name is just long. Is it's got a pen. The S Five E doesn't. It's just a keyboard case and the tablet itself. Um, with that said, yeah, it does come with the S Pen, which is for free compared to Apple, where you have to pay um, for the Apple Pencil, I believe. Uh, this one is free. It comes with spare tips uh, in the box, so if it does get kind of used up or worn, you can easily swap it out. And when I did get this from Vodafone, and no, I'm not sponsored by them, I did receive the bookcase or the keyboard case, which again is, is a great, great benefit. It's like an uber bonus. I mean, the pen itself is already a huge bonus, but the, the keyboard case is just like an extra uber bonus. Um, so the apps I normally use for this, whenever I'm kind of doing assignments, uh, essays, and all that type of written stuff, I just download the app, um, Microsoft Words, Microsoft PowerPoint. So the Google Doc and Google Slide is something that I normally use whenever we do group work, just because it's a lot easier to kind of share information, share the same piece of work uh, to everyone else within the group. But like I stated, other than that, I normally use Google uh, Microsoft Words for essay writing, which pretty much is half the, the work here at the University of Surrey. With that said, sorry, I'm just looking down here, I've made a script on the tablet itself. so. With the actual noting part, which utilizes the pen, I normally use an app called Scribble. Now, this is a free app that anyone can download. I've tried uh, OneNote, again, it's free, but I just never really got into it. But Scribble, on the other hand, has actually really been really, really fun to use. Um, it is free, but you can get the subscription of one pound a month or 10 pounds a year, which adds extra features, such as kind of different type of pens, highlighters, um, different templates, which I'll show you guys here in a b-roll but with that said I normally just have the free just because it, it does what I need to do so with a pen it's really really tactile and very responsive especially writing on this it feels pretty much like pen and paper um, and responsive there is sometimes a bit of a, a delay but that's just how this tablet is but it's very very minuscule and most of the time you probably won't even notice it and the gap between the pen and the screen itself is again it's not that much like probably nanometers again i'm not i, I don't know measurements so <laughs> don't take me up on that but yeah so i use scrib um scribble uh so what i found initially when you use a scribble you can go ahead and open up and kind of let's have a look so you you open it up and you pick okay note and it'll give you what type of kind of note template you guys want and all those other you know other options are all premium which where you have to do the subscription but it's really useful again if you're into sports you have the sports kind of um, layouts music you've got music sheets math and engineering all of that but personally what i use is just narrow ruled with that said when you come into it first it's going to be like this it's going to be like one note where you have an infinite template on scrolling and swiping which i actually don't like but fortunately compared to OneNote, you can change that out if you go in the top right on the options there is the page settings and there you can change the background to a different um, template or keep it the same and you can change the size of the page itself for me i will like to use a3 and you can finally change the direction whether you want it portrait or landscape personally i use portrait just because it's a lot more structured on a downward approach i use landscape if i'm doing a poster and i'm kind of just drawing uh, stuff out here and there but portrait for me and i use press apply and then there you go you got yourself an a3 piece of paper which you can just make notes on and it's great so we'll have a look at here at the previous um work that i did so i did a bit of pre-reading about long-term conditions and I've decided to do um, CVA or cerebrovascular accidents and I've made some key notes and kind of what it is what type of um, what type of variations there are uh, risk factors 
and I've all noted it down. So they're all quite quick notes and I've drawn a bit to make it more engaging. Uh, change the colors again, it, it's, a, it's the fun of, of writing. Um, so the non-reducible risk factors and you can also change the page over to the next one. Um, but yeah, so that's the app I use for note taking itself, especially with a pen. Now I've just recently downloaded uh, Evernote, but I haven't yet to try it, but I've had really, really good reviews about it. So I'll give that a shot and maybe in the future I'll kind of do another review on that, um, especially with the tablet itself. So the last part is just how I normally utilize the tablet, not just the app, but the tablet itself, as well as uh, how I use the tablet in general. So outside of class or whether I'm at home or at, for a coffee. So whenever I'm at lectures and say, hey, I need to take a photo, I can actually use the camera of the tablet, screenshot or not screenshot, take a snapshot of the whatever it's on the screen and I can actually implement that onto my piece of work and from there on I can draw around it, write around it, draw onto it. Um, so that's really useful. And being electronic, if I need something you know, to my computer, I can just post it onto my clouds using this device, pull it up on my computer, pull it up on my phone. It's very accessible, which is one of the reasons why it's really useful to have a, a tablet or an iPad really. So. Um, but with that said, for general uses, this tablet lasts about 13 hours from what I've experienced on a full charge, uh, at least a medium to a maximum usage of hard work. Um, but I can stream videos on this, I can photo edit, I can just surf the net, go on Facebook, Instagram, and yeah, do my assignment. I can just, and, and the thing is, it's lightweight, it's not a laptop, so it's not as heavy. It's, it's a lot more smaller and you can just carry this around. I can go to the park, I can go to Costa and just grab myself a cup of coffee, or I can go to the local uh, lakeside and kind of sit there and just have this with me. Um, probably I don't even need a bag. Uh, and I probably might need a, um, a power bank in the future just because the battery life on this is really good. And overall, the amount of stuff you can get out of this tablet with a pen and the cover it's really beneficial. I can officially say I am a paperless student because I have not brought a notepad to lecture or seminar for about four or five months ever since I got this. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hope you guys give it a thumbs up, subscribe as well for further updates, and I shall see you guys in the next video.